The Roman army, famed for its discipline, organization, and innovation in both weapons and tactics, allowed Rome to build and defend a huge empire which for centuries would dominate the Mediterranean world. Roman military campaigns has been the most successful than any other army in history. The reason why, might be the organization of their military training and the complex structure in how they conducted warfare. The Roman Legion was the largest military unit of the Roman army, comprised of 4,200 infantry and 300 cavalry soldiers, in the period of the Roman Republic, 509 BC to 27 BC. The general or the centurion was the commander of a centuria, which was the smallest unit of a Roman legion. The green recruits who were successfully enlisted as legionaries had to go through a training period of four months. During this training period, each recruit was given the task of marching 10 hours straight. First 29 kilometers in five hours and then 35 kilometers, all while carrying heavy gear. The original Roman army was made up of traditional Greek-style infantry soldiers whose main strategy was forming into a phalanx. By the early 3rd century BCE, the Roman army would switch to the maniple system, which would divide the Roman army into three units, Hastati, Principes, and Triari. Hastati served as a light infantry unit and were the staple of the army after the end of the Etruscan rule. They were originally some of the poorest men in the legion, and could afford only modest equipment. Principes were men in the prime of their lives who were fairly wealthy, and could afford decent equipment. They were the heavier infantry of the legion who carried large shields and wore good quality armor. Triari were the older and among the wealthiest men in the army and could afford high quality equipment. They had stronger armor and large shields their usual position in battle was the third line. They were equipped with spears and were considered to be elite soldiers among the legion. In most battles Triari were not used because the lighter troops usually defeated the enemy before the Triari were committed to the battle. They were meant to be used as a decisive force in the battle, thus prompting an old Roman saying, Res ad Triarios Venus. It comes down to the Triari, which meant carrying on to the bitter end. One key advantage of the Roman legions was its maneuverability, and its ability to manipulate the battlefield. The Romans were also more organized than other civilizations at the time, and the army could more easily be controlled. This was effectively used to outflank its opponents. And once the flanks were broken, so was also the cohesion of the enemy formations. As the maniple system allowed the Roman troops to maneuver more widely, it freed them from the need to always remain tightly packed in rigid formation.
deep three-line deployment of the Romans allowed combat pressure to be steadily applied forward. As combat lengthened and the battlefield compressed, the enemy tight formation could become exhausted or rendered immobile. While the Romans still had enough energy left, to not only maneuver, but to make the final surges forward. There were many reasons why the Romans were this successful in battle, but the extreme attention put into discipline and organization stands out to be one of the key factors that enabled their extraordinary expansion during the European antiquity.